Newlyweds set to sail on their honeymoon cruise can't go because of a sudden and serious illness. You'd think the cruise line would understand, but in today's Consumer Watch, Jeanette Pavini reports that's not always the case. It was a, a lot of excitement and just love, and I just couldn't wait to, to see David. Um, walk down the aisle. It was the picture-perfect wedding, but there was something these pictures were hiding. I kind of forgot everything f for that night. What Amy Scott was trying to forget? That one month before her wedding, she was diagnosed with a rare and serious illness, Stills disease. We made sure that their sickness and health was included in our vows. And before their honeymoon even began, it was over. A honeymoon that was going to take them on a $5,400 cruise from San Francisco to Alaska. But after Amy's diagnosis, she was hospitalized. Doctors allowed the wedding, but the cruise was out. Her doctor sent this letter to Princess Cruises saying it would be very much against medical advice to travel. I understand their business and they don't want to just lose her money and have an empty room. Princess Cruise Line not only kept their $5,400, but they resold their cabin. The cruise was completely sold out. So as Amy left for her first chemotherapy appointment, three days later, <laughs> Princess Cruises left San Francisco for Alaska, a full boat without the newlyweds. They said that they were going to keep all of our money, and they're going to give someone else our room. That's double dipping. That's not allowed. They're profiting from the misfortune, but they're profiting from unethical business conduct. Travel attorney Alexander Analik says if Princess had been stuck with an empty cabin, things would have been different. If you collect damages, you've got to show what they are. And the cruise line can't do it because they're making double recovery. But according to Analik, this double dipping is a growing trend in the travel industry. They know they're going to sell those rooms twice, and they use it as part of their revenue prediction until they get caught, until the court tells them no double dipping. Princess Cruises refused our request for an on-camera interview, and they refused to settle the dispute. They did say in a letter to CBS 5 that the Scots should have purchased traveler's insurance. But according to Analik, those policies are not easy to collect in medical situations. Although they are considering legal action, Amy's health is priority. Oh, this is not the honeymoon we planned. No. Now, we will continue to monitor this story, and so will the Federal Maritime Commission. They have some authority over cruise lines and recommend using credit cards and consider buying traveler's insurance. Resources to contact the commission are always on CBS5.com. Just click on Consumer Watch. And now, Juliet, right back to you. All right, we will follow this. Thank you. Jeanette Pavini.